Good to see you. Welcome back. Uh, we're going to introduce you right now to Rick Miller. He is the star and creator of Boom. It's a production that is going on at the Thousand Islands Playhouse all the way to June 10th. Rave reviews. Also, Rick Miller has won awards too. A Dora Mae Moore Award. That's right. He's also won uh, a Gemini Award. And Entertainment Weekly has called this guy one of the most 100 creative people in the business. That's huge. Welcome. I guess so. Yeah. It's, it's you know it's one of those things that. Uh, I guess I, I guess I'm on that list. That's very cool. And yeah, we're lucky you. to have you in our region. It's great to be here. Yeah. yeah, I you know I'm a Canadian. I've been touring the show all across Canada for the last couple of years, and uh, it's great to be here. I haven't been here in nine years. Wow. Well, welcome. Thank you. Let's talk about Boom because what you're doing is focusing on the baby boomer generation. A lot took place during that generation. Yeah, and there, you know, a lot's been said about it, and mm -hmm. I'm not a baby boomer. I was born at the, at the end of that. I'm a Gen X, born of the moon landing baby boom. Yep. But uh, I wanted to look at uh, the DNA of, you know, where I come from, who I am, and so it's partly the story of my parents, but also the story of all the political influences, all the music around them. And I play 100 characters in 100 minutes, wow. basically trying to tell a story of a generation that had a huge influence and still does. So there's spoken word in involved. Uh, it's a little bit of a history lesson I'm gathering. It's multi media um it's really hard to explain, but it is a generally a musical. It's, well, there's a lot of music in it. And I think music is kind of the heart of the story because people remember where they were when, mm -hmm. you know, Barry Maguire sang Eve of Destruction or Janis Joplin or Elvis. All these, they're all there chronologically. So I'm taking people through their lives. And a lot of baby boomers go to the theater, right? So they're seeing something unfold that isn't just about small town Canada. It's actually quite global. And it's a lot of fun. There's a lot of laughs. There are a lot of ads from the time about DDT and cigarettes mm -hmm. that really make you go, oh my gosh, you know, we have lived with lies a lot <laughs> and look we're still we're still living in this world right it's, it's not about the past actually it's about today is that when four out of five doctors recommended Marlboro cigarettes <laughs> exactly yeah. you know or camels or whatever it's yeah. Yeah. you know what cigarette do you smoke doctor yeah. right like these crazy ads and yet we're, we're still living in that world today where you know the Trumps of the time were around at that time mm -hmm. right so I'm trying to make people actually think about today differently so do you play multiple characters or do you play one character that experiences all of these? That's a good question. I play, uh, I play multiple issues. characters. Okay. I kind of, the main characters are my parents and sort of a love triangle around it. I play me as a narrator talking to the audience, but for the most part, I'm playing all the people, all the singers from Perry Como all the way to David Bowie, who, who you know, were big at the time, right? So a lot of hit songs. And as I'm singing those songs, it's not just about the imitations, it's actually about what's happening in the world at the time. And those facts spin around this cylinder that I've created, this kind of multimedia playing area that I've created. So yes, I am becoming these characters, but it's not about the imitations. It's about what the world was like and how that can mm. speak to us today. Well, you also play Elvis. Take a look. <laughs> you ain't no more Elvis, no. Crap, no. You ain't So Elvis is one of the 100 characters you play, of course, like I said, they're, they're, you know, you yourself speaking to the audience. Uh, and I look at it as a bit of a history lesson for younger people as well. When I do this show in schools, and you know, like it or not, we get a lot of baby boomers, sometimes pre-baby boomers, coming to the theater. That's a great thing. But I love it when they come with their kids or mm -hmm. their grandkids, because you actually learn to understand people better. And at the end of the show, if I've had uh, you know, a group of young people see it, they actually start thinking of themselves in the context of history very differently. And that's it's a great thing, you know, for people to look back on history, to not think of yourself as a special thing that only exists in the present day, but as part of something bigger. And talk to your parents, talk to your grandparents, right? They got good stories to tell. Wow. And you know what? They had sex lives. <clears throat> because otherwise you wouldn't not be my here. grandmother. <laughs> <laughs> Nana would not do that. And they might have done drugs. It might have, oh. you know, you never know, right? So this stuff comes out after boom. They, people sort of repress a lot of these things. But when you get someone sitting with their grandparents, it's, it's an amazing thing. When they stay for the talk back, which happens every, after every show, mm. I get these amazing recollections of not only you told my life, but my God, Grandma, you, you were cool, you know? <laughs> <laughs> and I think what really resonates with the audience, especially seeing it at the Thousand Islands Playhouse, it's a rather intimate venue. So people can really feel like you're speaking to them. Yeah, it's a, it's a great venue, and I've, I've performed there only once before, and it's, it's so beautiful. It's right by the water, and it really feels that people are coming to experience something quite special. Mm -hmm. And Boom is, I mean, if anything, it is unique. People have never seen anything quite like it before, which is why it's, it's hard to describe with words or on paper. But seeing this in the room surrounded by peers, 
I think, I think it's what, in some ways, a theater experience can be. It's different from anything you get on a screen. And yes, I'm performing in front of a screen the whole time, but the screen disappears, and it actually, you feel connected to a really special moment that is not about nostalgia, although there's a bit of that. Mm -hmm. It's really about what's going on in the world today. That's amazing. Once again, Boom, uh, starring Rick Miller. He does 100 impersonations, and uh, it's taking place at the Thousand Islands Playhouse until June 10th. Uh, do yourself a favor and catch Boom. Oh, have a great day, everyone. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.